sun is shining, birds are chirping, birds are chirping, we've had a big breakfast and I, for one, am ready for an adventure. Adventure? Haven't we had enough of those? That was the past. It's a new day. We need a new adventure. Let's see, where haven't we been? There's no place in Oz we haven't been. Suntop Mountain? We spent last Easter there. Uh, the Winky Woods? I got lost there once. Didn't I? Yes, Nettie. But I was founded. Found, Nettie. You were found. That's what I said. And besides, if I wasn't, I wouldn't be here now. Right? There's some logic buried in there somewhere. But there must be some place we haven't been. How about Bumble Cave on the south shore of Lake Quad? Yeah, how about it? Sounds like fun. It would be if it were not for one small detail. What's that? There's no such cave at Lake Quad. I'm certain I saw a mention of it on one of these maps. I know every inch of this country, and there's no such place as... Bumble Cave! Here it is! Oh! Oh! That Bumble Cave! Of course! That's on the south side of Lake Quad. I've never been there. Me neither. I remember my mother talking about that place. There used to be mermaids there. Mermaids? Yes, but that was a long time ago. I've never seen a mermaid. Then what do you say we take a couple of robots and check it out? The cave should be in sight soon. I thought I'd lend a hand. Thanks, buddy. Rick, I bet you've seen as much of us as any of us. I love exploring this country of yours. It's your country, too, now. That it is. Do you ever miss the real world, Rick? Can't say that I do. The real world and me, well, we never really got on. And you never had any family? Of course he did, Boris. He had to have a family sometime, didn't you, Rick? They're all gone now, though. I was only ever really close to my brother, Joe. He was a captain in the Merchant Marines. What happened to him? His ship went down during a squall in the Azores. Must be 10, 15 years ago now. You must miss him. I know I'd miss my brother if he were gone. How about you, sis? Would you miss me if I was gone? Why don't you go away for a while and I'll see. Can't you take a joke, Boris? You shouldn't joke about things like that. Should she, Rick? Oh, I think Bella would miss you something terrible. She just doesn't like to admit it. Is that the way it is, sis? I suppose so. So you would miss me. I suppose so. But I'd probably get over it. We should almost be there. That's what you said an hour ago. We're getting tired and I'm starting to squeak. Do you really think we'll find mermaids there? Mermaids, mermaids. There's no such animal. It's just some fairy tale. A little more behind the left knee. Yeah, creatures like that couldn't exist. You know, guys, you'll find this hard to believe, but there are some people who would have trouble believing in tin boys and scarecrows and pumpkins who talk. Oh, oh really? really? But here we are. Yep, talking away. Squeaking away. You missed a spot, scarecrow. That looks like it, ladies. We're here, Bumble Cave! We'll meet you inside. I wonder why it's called Bumble Cave. I had to ask. Watch out, Bumblebees! Bees at 12 o'clock, but it's almost two. It's nautical lingo, Tin Boy. But what does it mean? It means a swarm of bees is about to descend upon us. Well, why didn't he just say so? If there are bees coming, there are... Bees coming? Gosh, it's 
dark. And it's quiet. And it's shadowy. And it's scary. Scary? How can you find this place scary? Dark, quiet, shadowy. All that adds up to scary in my book. How about you, Rick? Don't you think this cave is scary? I'm more concerned with the boat. We scraped some barnacles on the way in and we're taking on water. Fast. I feel better already. We better start bailing. They're gaining on us! I've got an idea. What is it? First, we have to stop the boat. They're coming back! Yeah, these at 3 o'clock. Looks more like 3.15 to me. Well, whatever time it is, they're here! What was your idea? This. hear that from you, Scarecrow. Well, I guess that's because you rarely do anything to impress me. Kidding! We better get going and catch up with the others. We don't want to miss the fun of Bumble Cave. We're in big trouble. Again. I have a feeling that something is watching us. Watching? Who will be watching? Bail! No use, kids. We'd better swim for it. Should you tell him, or should I? Let's both tell him. We, we can't, can't swim. swim. Put your paws around my neck and pull tight. We, we can, can do that. that. Everybody okay? We're fine, Rick. Toto's doing the dog paddle. <laughs> and so is Maddie. Hey, that's not fair. I'm getting tired, sis. Me too. But you're not doing anything, Boris. Rick is doing all the work. I'm getting tired just watching. What are we going to do, Rick? I don't know, kid. I don't know. Hey, there's something touching me. Me too. Me too? Able to swim like you two. You can swim like us too, if you'd like. No, we, we couldn't. couldn't. We can't swim. <laughs> you don't have to hold your breath. We made you like us. Honorary mermaids for the length of your stay with us. I got a tail, too. I feel like a kid again. He catches on fast. Toto, look! You've got a tail, too! But he always had a tail. Now he's got another one. And so do I. You 
You'll make yourself dizzy. I can swim! I can swim! Me too, and it's way cool. And it's strange, but I don't even feel wet. Where are you taking us? To the palace of Queen Aquarine. The palace of Queen Aquarine. I like the sound of that. The tide's coming in. We'll be trapped in here. Row, row. Row. Tin boy, let's give it all we got. On three. One, two, two three. three. That was exhausting. Yeah, I'm worn out. The tides completely closed up the cave. But where are the others? What's happened to them? Look, swordfish. They protect us. They can be quite fierce when riled. Fierce, did you say? Only to those who mean us harm, not to our friends. We're friends. We're like this. Queen Ocarina awaits you in the throne room. Welcome. Howdy. Merlin and Clea saved us. Our boat was sinking. I know. You were in danger. I'll say. We almost drowned. You almost drowned? Why does everyone repeat things I say? Not me. Maybe it's because they've never heard the language spoken quite so uniquely. What about our friends? Are they in danger too? I don't think so. They'll be worried about us. We can't return you to them until our tide changes, but I'll see to it that they don't worry. We just got out. Well, we have to do something. Hey, I'm gonna rise. I'll get your. your well, I can't. They can sleep at a time like this? Don't you see, Boris? It's a spell. Yes, they will rest peacefully until you return. Your Majesty, could I ask a question? Of course. How is it that I don't feel wet? I mean, I'm in the ocean, I'm surrounded by water, but I'm dry. That's because the water really isn't touching you. Your bodies have been made just like the mermaids. There always remains a very small space, hardly a hair's breadth between us and the water. And how is it that we can breathe? The airspace around you is constantly replenished from the water. Which contains oxygen, you know. Correct. Well, that takes care of how we stay dry and how we breathe. Yep, there's only one important thing left for us to know. And what is that? What do we eat? Not bad, not bad at all. Goes down smooth, but I'm glad I don't know what any of it is. I'm with you. If it tastes good, don't ask any questions. How do you like the fungus bread? It's, it's delicious. delicious. <laughs> Is that an earthquake? Not unless they call that an earthquake. Greetings, Kiko. Greetings. <laughs> you must be a friend of theirs. Doing. doing great. <laughs> Come on out of there and let me get a good look at you. Allow me to introduce King Enko. You're quite large, Your Majesty. You should see my brother. He's seven feet longer than I am. What are you? I'm a sea serpent. And king of the ocean. I don't like to toot my own horn. <laughs> You've got a horn? 
I'd like to hear it. <laughs> oh, really, I would. I'm not just being polite. I like music. <laughs> would you care for some lunch, King Inga? <laughs> no, thank you. I devoured something which didn't sit well on the tummy and haven't been able to eat a thing for... decades. You can go that long without eating? I have a very slow metabolism. I'm still digesting that U-boat I ate in 42. How old are you? I'm five. Natty, it's not polite to ask someone as old as he is how old he is. Oh, it's fine for the little one to ask. I'm proud of my age. I'm five, too. You're awfully big for five. Five thousand, that is. <laughs> wow, five thousand? You must have seen a lot in your day. And it must be so great to be so big. That way, you don't need to be afraid of anything. That's right. I'm not afraid of anything. <gasps> Except Zog, of course. Zog? Who's he? He is a monster. Part man, part fish, part beast, part fowl, part reptile. That's a lot of parts. That all adds up to just one monster? Yes. You see, centuries ago, Zog was an evil magician. He was cast off the earth into the sea. We engaged in a tremendous battle. And you won, right? I did. 3,642 years, 11 months, and 9 days ago, I banished Zog to an invisible castle so that no one could ever seek him out. <laughs> and he's still there, I hope? Oh, yes, and so you mustn't worry. Well, that's my motto. <laughs> Never worry. Nice work if you can get it. I like you. You're sardonic. <laughs> oh, I, I... Merla and Clea would like to show you the wonders of the sea. I'm game. They sting us? No, they're very good natured. Yeah, and so am I. Unless I'm crossed. We'll be sure not to. Not to what? Not to cross you. Then we'll get along fine. Yeah, we like octopuses. Octopi, if you please. Octopi. Names are very important down here. Yes. Think of the poor little seahorse. He used to be a merry, cheerful fellow until someone named him Hippocamus. They haven't cracked a smile since. Who can blame him? Come on, there's plenty more to see. Hey, don't say goodbye or anything. Bye! Bye. Yeah, goodbye, Octopi. Octopus! A puss! There's only one of me! It's so dark here. There must be cuttlefish around. Yes, they carry sacks of ink in front of them to dye the water. But they usually don't venture into this territory. We better turn back. How about this way? No, that way leads to the sea devil's caves. Closed, Boris. And that's the way they're going to stay until this is all over. Seems all right in here. Yes, I guess we were worried over nothing. Do you know a way out of here? There's a shaft up ahead, which will take us back towards the palace. What's wrong? Sea devils! Sea what? Devils! Let us go! Yes, please, let them go! We have our orders! 
those orders wouldn't involve delivering us safely back to the palace, would they? No! We're to deliver you somewhere, but not to the palace. We're to take you to the invisible castle. But that's where Zog is. Didn't we mention Zog? No, as a matter of fact, you didn't mention Zog. Zog? Isn't he that part beast, part reptile, part everything else King Echo told us about? He is! He is. Don't worry, she says. Don't worry about Zog. But Zog is bad. Zog is mean. Zog is... Zog, Zog is, is waiting! waiting! It's even darker in this part of the tunnel. I can't see a thing. Then I might as well keep my eyes open. There's light up ahead. Thanks for the warning. This says Chadwick. Does it mean something to you, Rick? Seems like I've heard that name before. Look! I said look! I don't see anything. Keep looking! That must be Zog's castle. Can we skip this part? back. Feels swell. <gasps> I say we wait right here. <laughs> or not. Why not? I'm just a slave here. A slave? Yes, I'm Zog's slave. But you look human. And you look just like... I am human! I was traveling with my uncle on a ship, the SS Chadwick. The wreck we passed on the mm. way in? That's the one. Zog sunk it because he wanted some company. Weren't you scared? You lose too much time being scared. I used to be scared all the time, but it was no fun. So I got over it. You make it sound so easy. Why were we brought here? Being but a mere slave, I can't say. But that reminds me of why I came to greet you. And why is that? I am sent to inform you that Zog the Forsaken, who hates all the world and is hated by all the world, commands your presence in his den. Oh, I can't wait. Do you hate Zog too? Nah, people lose a lot of time hating others, and there's no fun in that either. Does Zog mistreat you? Nah, he yells a lot, but since he hates everyone, he hates himself, too. Actually, he hates himself more than he hates anybody. Aren't you bored being Zog's slave? Nah, every day is a new adventure, just waiting to see what dreadful thing Zog will do next. Does the next dreadful thing involve... <coughs> involve us? I'd say there's a very good chance. Are there others here besides you and Zog? Just my uncle, but he's napping at the moment. <laughs> Zog is getting impatient. You'd better follow me. We better do what he says. Boris, where do you think you're going? I was thinking maybe anywhere else. You'd better stick with us. Don't worry, Boris. I'll think of something to get us out of this mess. It's like a maze in here. It is a maze. Let's hope that Merlin and Clea are off to get help. Let's hope really hard. 
I see your friends ditched you like you ditched me. <sighs> Not exactly. You see... I bet they did ditch you. Found a better part of the ocean, I'll wager. New scenery, more fascinating aquatic life. No use for a couple of common variety mermaids any longer. Am I right, or am I right? Wrong with a capital W. They've been captured. Captured by whom? Captured by Zog. I'm sorry I asked. They need our help, and we, unfortunately, need your help. I'm flattered, and I hope you won't take it personally when I say, include me out. Please. We have to get back to Queen Aquarine pronto. And you can swim so powerfully. That's true. We need the kind of fast transport only you can provide. Well, I don't know. What's in it for me? How about a special accommodation from Queen Aquarine herself? Not interested. What about all the jewels in the palace? What would I do with them? What about a free lunch? Now you're talking. Grab a tentacle. But we can't. So we won't, right? And I! Zog is getting impatient. Hurry up. But there's no place to go. Just walk straight ahead. <gasps> Gee, this doesn't look so scary. Yeah, it's cool. The gold dome ceiling. The pearl walls. The ruby throne. <laughs> you left one thing out. What's that? Me! You must be... You're right. I must be... I must be Zog! Why... Why have you brought us here? I have been waiting an eternity to trap some friends of King Anko. Well, I wouldn't say we're friends exactly. Acquaintances, maybe. We hardly know him. But I can count on his sense of duty and honor in coming here in a vain attempt to rescue you. Um, maybe we could count on your duty and honor to let us go? You could. Were it not for one thing. And what's that? I have no sense of duty and honor. <laughs> but I have all of you. Right where I want you. <laughs> Why don't you let these kids go? Just keep me. I don't think so. Children make much better hostages. It appeals to people's sentimental nature. That's sort of cowardly, isn't it? Ah, what of it? Just asking. Listen, Zog. If you're hunkering after a rematch with King Ankle so much, why don't you just go after him yourself? Because I can't leave my domain. <laughs> There's nothing to say that Anko can't enter mine, though. And once he receives word that you are here, that's what I'm certain he shall do. <laughs> Until then, you can consider yourselves my guests. <laughs> really? Really. You aren't my guests, of course. But you can consider yourselves as such. And I shall pretend as well. It would be novel. I don't have many guests, you see. And... And I'm lonely! I'm not surprised. Uh, did you say something? Me? Yes, you! My cuddly one. I just said that it's no surprise you're lonely. Waiting 3,642 years, 11 months, and 9 days for a rematch with King Anko. 3,642 years, 11 months, and... <laughs> 10 days, actually. <clears throat> but who's counting? Not me. I'm not very good at counting. At least past 10. Sometimes, if I have my shoes off, I can make it to 20. But... Ah, fascinating. Sacco! Prepare rooms for our prisoners. I mean, guests. Done. 
Make sure they have fresh linen. Mm. Done. And that food is prepared. Done. Food? Maybe this won't be so bad after all. Take the old man to the peony room. I think he means you. Now go! I have evil retaliatory plans to formulate. <laughs> and that requires privacy. <laughs> Scram! So, how did you like Zog? We didn't. Yeah, he's mean. How do you stand being around him? I don't have much of a choice. It's not like I can hail a taxi and skip town. Well, here we are, the Rose Room. As I said, maybe this won't be so bad after all. Pretty good for prison food. Your room is down the hall. I'm not leaving these kids, pal. But it's orders. If you don't follow orders, Sog will pop a button. It's okay, Rick. I'm sure we'll be fine here. Okay, but keep the door open. If that's allowed. That's allowed. And besides, I have a suspicion you'll like your room better anyway. You can eat at a time like this? Sure, and you know why? Because I have faith in the resourcefulness of our friends. Frank, Scarecrow, Jack, and Tin Boy probably already have a brilliant rescue plan in the works. Forrest is right. I'm certain the others have a surefire plan. Of course I'm right. Is there any more of that okra pudding left? Well, here we are. Who designed this place? No, it isn't. You look just like my brother Joe. And you look just like my brother Rick. Rick, is that you? Brother? Brother! Halt! Thanks! Call me when lunch is ready. Who'd have thought I'd find my brother in an underwater palace 50 fathoms deep? Who'd have thought I'd end up here? How'd you find your way here? After the ship sunk, Satcho and I were the only survivors. The SS Chadwick. I knew that ship sounded familiar. Passed it on the way down, did you? Yeah, but wait, Satcho says you're his uncle. He just calls me that. Poor kid's an orphan. How do you come to be here, Rick? That's a long, long story. One thing we got plenty of down here is time. Well, pull up a buttercup and I'll tell you all about it. We must inform King Anko at once. He'll know what to do. So that's the whole story. You blame me, don't you? Rick, I'm living in an invisible underwater castle ruled by a half-man, half-beast magician banished thousands of years ago by a gigantic sea serpent. Your story doesn't sound all that fantastic in comparison. So what do you do here all day? It's my job to sew the buttons back on Zog's robes after he pops them off. <laughs> that must keep you pretty busy. Oh yes, it's endless. Well look, we gotta find a way out of here for those kids' sake. There's no way out of here, brother. Satcho and I have tried everything. Remember when we were kids we said nothing could stop us once we put our collective minds to something? I remember. So let's put our collective minds together and get us out of here. Right. Zog has arranged a little entertainment while we await the arrival of King Anko. Entertainment? I could go for a little of that. You do good work. Thanks. What kind of entertainment do you think he has planned? I don't know, Nettie. I hope it's scary. Oh, I'm sure it won't be. Bring on the Yell Maker! The Yell Maker? Not that! Silence! What is this Yell Maker? 
Why do you think it's called the Yell Maker? Got me. Ow! Oh. I think that answers our question. You call this entertainment? <laughs> Very entertained. I'm happy for it. Ouch! Keep your hands to yourself, buddy. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> you know what? It really doesn't hurt that much. Oh, really? Yeah, it's more the idea of it that's scary. Yeah, it's sort of a state of mind kind of thing. Well, I'm getting a welt from that state of mind kind of thing. Look, next time he nips us, laugh. Laugh? Getting pinched by the yell maker is your idea of a chuckle? That's right. Let's laugh and see what happens. I think all this H2O has waterlogged your noggins. But I'll give it a try. I don't know what's going on. It usually hurts. Oh, well, try it on me. Hmm, I could use a laugh. Oh, no, I, I couldn't. Uh, not to you. I order you to pinch me. I want to laugh. If you insist, I... I insist! Ow! Ah! That dog really can't take a joke. Yeah, and sending us to bed without supper is really going too far. I want out of here! Look, kids, Joe and I have been hatching a plan. You have? Yeah, if you guys are game, we have an idea how to get you out of here. We're, We're game. game! What's the plan? Shouldn't we wait until nighttime? You know, escape under the cloak of darkness after Zog is asleep? It is nighttime. It is, but it looks like daytime. Zog's magic makes it seem like daytime all the time. Terrific. It must be hard for Zog to sleep with all this light. Zog never sleeps. I knew you were going to say that. Come on, follow me. should be in bed. All of you! We're escaping! Oh, is that all? I thought maybe you were... Escaping? But there's no escaping from here! Tell them, Joe. There might be a way, but we need you, Satcho, to guide us through the maze. Whatever you say, Joe. I'll meet you at the entrance. I have some last-minute sewing to do. Let's get a move on. You sure this is all right with you? Whatever you say, Joe, I'm with you. Hop on! Hurry! We aren't enchanted like you. We drown! Then we aren't going either. Look, you've got to go. You have to stop King Anko from coming here. And we have to remain behind to provide a distraction. But won't Zog be angry when he finds out you've helped us? Angry isn't exactly the word. He'll be... What's going on? Furious! You know and I know this is your only chance. Get going! All right, but we'll be back for you. Somehow. I've bought you a little time. How'd you do that? I am one angry monster! 
Slumberland. It's very late, you know. It's later than you think! They're probably just taking a little midnight swim. I don't think so. He looks pretty mad. But, as Joe says, he can't leave the confines of the castle. So we're safe. Yep, a clean getaway. be getting close to the surface. The water is getting warmer. One might even say that the water is getting... Hot! hot. It's boiling! Zog, you can't do it. Your beef isn't with them, it's with Anko. And obviously he doesn't care enough about them to rescue them. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But your prisoners won't be much use to you if they're... Fried. You have a point. Thank goodness. I was getting hot under the gills. Yes, much better now. It's quite temperate. But wait! The water is getting colder and colder. It's freezing. I can't move. I'm a popsicle. We're trapped. I guess this escape wasn't such a good idea after all. This is horrible. I can't move. It's so cold. Yeah, I'm freezing my tail off, so to speak. <laughs> I don't know where I get my ideas, but they're wonderfully malevolent. <laughs> wonderfully. Maybe they can help. Let's hope. Ah, let's hope for your sakes that those meddlesome mummies do nothing. I, for one, though, am not one. What can a mere trio of mermaids do against the consummate power of Zog, the Magnificent? It's the mermaids! Where? I don't see anybody. I can't. They're swimming right towards us. Do me a favor and give me occasional updates. We can't let them freeze. And we won't. Five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. Back to you, Bella. She's holding steady at ten o'clock. Thanks, Queen Aquarine. You don't know how much you miss the mobility in your hindquarters until it's taken away from you. So let's get our tails in gear and blow this place. We have to make a run for it. There's no telling what our Zog has up his sleeve. I am not a happy monster! Not that, Zog! Yes, not the wolf fish. Why not? It isn't sporting. It isn't sporting. You don't think I got where I am? Achieve my villainous reputation by playing by the rules, <laughs> do you? What's that sound? Oh, it's, it's, it's nothing. I don't want you mermaids to take this the wrong way. We really like you, but you are terrible liars. We'll come clean. Zog is calling forth the wolf fish. The wolf fish? They're very dangerous. 
very scary. I think I prefer not knowing. How about you? Granted, it's sometimes better to be in the dark. King Enko would know what to do. Speaking the same, where is the big guy? He couldn't fit to the tunnel by which we came. He had to go the long way around. How long is the long way around? A continent or two. <gasps> Let me say it. Okay. Uh-oh. This way. Sharp left. One, two, three already. Three. Nice cave you have here. Roomy, have to go. Sorry. seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. I did see it, and I'm still having a bit of trouble resigning myself to the reality of it. Well, you're safe. Yep. What can that old zombie do to us now? <laughs> I think this would be a good time to exit. My thoughts exactly. He doesn't have a single button left, and I'm not itching to see what's under those robes. Come back here! I am still master of my domain! I am still master of all I survey! I am! I am invincible! Others, just how invincible. I am only prisoner here because I believe myself to be. I didn't live by others' rules on Earth. Why should I hear? I am Zog, and I am in control. But King Angle said Zog couldn't leave the castle. Zog is winging it, so to speak. safe here until... Until what? Until we think of a way out of this. We're, We're waiting. waiting! With all we've been through, we still have to experience an earthquake. That's not an earthquake. That's... <laughs> King Angle! It's a pretty tight fit in here, let me tell you. Not comfortable at all. What a predicament! No disrespect, King Anko, but it can't hold a candle to the pickle we're in. Zog has broken out of his prison. Now you must be mistaken. That's not possible. You see... <gasps> you see? 
He's right behind you. <laughs> My sister down. Put, Put us down. Grab a whisker, everybody. Won't it hurt? Who cares? You won't budge. I feel a little movement in my midsection. I think I need just one more little tug. Just one more. <laughs> that a boy. You know that I'm invincible. Can't say that I do. But I am! I'm too powerful for anyone to defeat. I don't want to get into a debate, but you're the one who's struggling and can't move. Can't move? I'll show you can't move. I'll show you! <laughs> I can't move. Let me go. Okay. King Anko, have mercy. I might consider it. Consider it. I've learned valuable lessons. Such as? Such as... It's not good to be bad. A bit simplistic a philosophy, isn't it? You want complexity? I can do that. Just name it. I can do anything you want. I want you... I want you... You want me what? I want you out of my hair! <laughs> really, it was nothing. My tail did all the work. And what a tail it was. Yes, the villain has been effectively incarcerated. <laughs> Will Zog remain in that cave forever? Forever and a day. Uh, but don't worry, I'll check in on him every thousand years or so. Sounds fair to me. And look what that fruit did to the castle. It's ruined. Every crevice filled with water. Filled with water? But my brother and Sancho are inside. And they aren't enchanted. We'll take care of that. Hang on, kid. I'll think of something. I can't think of anything. Where... We're goners, I'm afraid. You did your best, Uncle. We never made it to Australia. It's okay. As long as we're together, I don't mind so much. You've been the best friend I've ever had. Thanks, kid. Joe? What is it? We're talking. Of course we're talking. I mean, we're talking underwater. Poor kid, he's losing it. We're talking and breathing underwater. Hey, we are! And you know what? We've, We've got, got tails! Key Anko wanted to give you a personal send-off. And wasn't there something about lunch? After the send-off. I'm sure you'd be welcome in Oz. Sacho, too. I don't know, mate. The kid's had his heart set on Australia. Don't know how we'll get there, though. Here's the king. Hiya, king. Hiya, Dot. You have a very cushy tail. So I've been told. How about lunch? 
Oh, I couldn't eat a thing. I didn't mean you. Boris, how rude. Well, aren't you hungry? Of course, but there are such things as manners, you know. Oh, I'm being selfish. I'm so ashamed. Of course you must be famished. That's the word for it. Speaking for myself, I haven't been able to keep anything down for ages. Now I swallowed something that didn't agree with me. Any idea what it was? I remember that it had a long metal object attached to it. What was on the other end of it? Something. Now, something yellow. It looked quite appetizing at the time, but you know how that can be. Looks great on the plate, but goes down like lead. Can you see anything? As a matter of fact, I do see something. It looks like an anchor. Give it a tug. Mind lending a hand? Sure, Rick. I remember now. Someone above water had abandoned this boat when they went ashore in Australia. It looked appetizing. Boy, was I mistaken. Australia? Are we near there? Well, sure. Right up there, over your heads. King Anko, do you think it would be possible? Remember, you're welcome in Oz whenever you want. Yeah, we have ways of keeping track of you. So if you ever need anything, we'll know. It was good to find you again, Rick. And it's good to know there'll always be somebody looking out for me. For us. For us. Are you ready to depart? Ready? ready. My mermaids will see you safely to the surface and remove your... your... encumbrances. I was sort of getting used to it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss scratching behind the ears with it. <laughs> well, time to rejoin the masses. Full speed above. above. Goodbye. 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 Sure is good to breathe real air again. Sure is. My sea bones tell me Australia is that way. That way. to tell you, it was worth bringing you here. These vittles were something else. Did you eat everything? Yes, that was the deal. Do I lie? No, that was the deal. And you didn't even leave a scrap? Afraid not. Let me at him! Let me at him! Now, Boris, we'll have something to eat as soon as we get home. We have to get back to Jack and Tin Boy. And Scarecrow and Frank. They're probably worried sick. I suppose you're right. Let me at him! Let me at him! Remember, Boris, we have to get home. Yes, there's plenty of food at home. Home? Food? Home, food, food, food? Well, what are you guys waiting for? We fixed your boat. Good as new. All aboard who's going aboard. I'm 
sort of gonna miss my other tail. Yeah, you could do more with it than with this old thing. We'll, we'll miss, miss you. you. We'll miss you too. What we won't miss is their appalling lack of foodstuffs. Goodbye! Goodbye. Froggy. Me too. I usually don't sleep this long. I usually don't sleep, period. <sighs> Must be the sea air. How do you feel, Tin Boy? Uh, oil, oil can! can. I'm not one to complain, but on our next outing, dry land is definitely on my preferred list. I'm getting worried about the others. Yeah, haven't they been in there a long time? Didn't we go in after them? I think so, but I can't remember the details. And didn't the tide just change a few minutes ago? It did. Well, let's change it again. It's going out. I'm baffled, and that doesn't usually happen to me. Grab an oar. We have to go look for them. All right. How are we going to explain this to the others? The less said, better. All agreed? Agreed. Hi, guys. Where have you been? Oh, we've been under the sea. We were imprisoned by Zog, met Rick's brother, and were rescued by King Angle, the sea serpent. Then we... Kids, where do they come up with these things? Well, let's get going. Going where? into the cave. Aren't you guys up for an adventure? Not uh, really. What I'm up for is a nap. A nap? We came all this way for you to take a nap? Yeah, we rode for hours and we're ready to have some fun. The day is young, you know. Actually, it's getting sort of late. Yeah, it is. Now, where did the day go? Oh, you know how it is when you're out in the open sea. The time just flies. Yeah. But it was morning just a few minutes ago. Wasn't it? The sun must be getting to you, Scarecrow. But I was up for an adventure, and I've been stuck in this crate all day. We'll have an adventure tomorrow, Jack. You promise? Promise. Now let's go home. Yeah, there's probably nothing all that interesting on the other side of the cave. Yeah, you wouldn't have liked it. Wouldn't have liked what? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Hey, is anybody besides me up for some cupcakes? Yeah! Then let's get rolling. Okay, but remember your promise. It's a new day tomorrow. A new day. A new adventure. It's, it's a date. date.